Welcome to another sample example of polarization and Polaroids and Bellas Law. This question uh, I pluck from a, a past year question of the IB syllabus. So uh, I got it off the website. I'm not really sure which year it's from because the website didn't state it. So pause the video, try the question, and I'll see you. After you try the question, wait for what? Go, go do the question. Hello. And we're back. Hiya. You make sure you try the question, okay? So here we have two polarizers having polarizing axis, looking at an angle of 30 degrees to each other. Very nice. So you see that in this particular drawing, they use the dotted line. That dotted line sort of shows the polarizing axis, okay? So this um, first one is in this direction. It's going to draw a line to mark out that direction, okay? So and if I put it here, it means that it has rotate an angle of 30 degree. Okay, so we tilt it 30 degree. Tilt. Okay, so it says here that the unpolarized incident light of I1 is going inside here. Change the pen a bit. Okay, so going in here is I1. Okay, and the light of intensity I2 emerges from the second polarizer polaroid okay so cosine 30 is root 3 over 2 wow much helpful thank you so we're probably gonna use cos 30 is root 3 over 2 be aware that this is the ib syllabus normally for cie they just expect you to press calculator lah, okay so what is the ratio of i1 to i2 i1 over i2 Okay, so because there are two polarizers, we're going to do one by one. Okay, so uh, when we pass through the first polarizer, because this thing is unpolarized, so when we go from unpolarized, which uh, if you've watched the other videos, you know it will be like in all these random direction, to plain polarized, if this is I1, then by the time you reach here, this will be I1 over Okay, because we are looking at the average of the intensity of the light. So half. Average of cos square theta. There's a lot of maths here that I'm skipping through. So you just kind of have to just accept that average of this one because it's random and in all direction. We'll just take the midpoint or the halfway point as the average. Okay. So this one is I1 over 2. So that means the light that is incident on polaroid number two, second polarizer here, this one is actually I1 over 2. And the one that comes out is I2. So if we are going to use Mellor's law, okay, I'll write down Mellor's law first. I is equal to I0 cos square theta. Okay, but in this case, uh, what is the light, the emergent light? the one that is transmitted or exit the polaroid this will be i2 okay and i naught is the one that is incident on the polaroid heading towards the polaroid okay so just uh, as a reference point this one will be the one that is going in this one will be the one that's going out so the intensity that is transmitted is equal to the incident intensity. In this case, this will be I1 over 2. And cos square, the angle between these two, rotated 30 degree. So cos square 30. Uh, good news. We want I1 over I2, right? So I can rearrange a bit. Okay. So let me let me do that first. Okay, let me scroll down a bit. Okay. And let me rearrange right so uh when i rearrange this okay i will have okay i1 over i2 is equivalent to bring this one here 2 over cos 30 degree square okay so of course you can press calculator okay so if let's say you don't want to do algebra and you're always scared that something is going to happen it's okay it's okay, it's okay okay to use your calculator no harm okay so this is 3 over 4 and then i'll take 2 divide by answer i'll get 8 over 3 my answer is d okay so you can always use your calculator to help you for cambridge but 
in case you don't have calculator but for some reason you just want you just want to practice your math skill can your very mad math skill so this will be two over we got cos 30 right cos 30 is root 3 over 2 so we will sub root 3 over 2 in let me scroll a bit so my big head is not blocking me root 3 over 2 square okay so if that is the case then this is going to continue this this will be 2 over 3 over 4 so you bring this one will be 2 times 4 over 3 which is 8 over 3 yay okay press calculator or use simple algebra right so the answer is 8 over 3 notice that this is mcq so that's why your final answer can be uh, given in fraction n and there could be some arithmetic problem lah, like you simplify wrongly so always double check okay or use your calculator no problem this is not maths this is physics use calculator all right so whenever you use Mellor's law just be very careful one is incident one is emergent okay and number two uh, whenever we go from unpolarized to plain polarized the intensity drops by two i'll make a note here for you from unpolarized to plain polarized the intensity if you remember from your lecture decreased by two all right that's it for this video it's shown a sweet so objective question from IB. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.